Today's adventure takes us to something a little bit different. I am doing laminate flooring today. Uh, this house has been remodeled and uh, the customer requested me to come in here and clean up the flooring. Um, and here's the thing is that on the camera, it looks a little milky weird and stuff and you can just see it just looks weird, right? Um, what happened, and I'm pretty sure this is what happened. Uh, I did a test spot and I know this is what happened. Um, if you notice the walls here, the ceilings, everything is painted with this black type of white paint. And I don't think the painters really did a good job at protecting the flooring. So this is what we call painter's dust. So it's overspray from the ceiling paint. And um, I'm gonna go in here and uh, just use a neutral floor cleaner and uh, get it all cleaned up for them and stuff. So the key to laminate flooring is that even though most of them are now water, water resistant, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they're not susceptible to water damage. So I did check them out. They had some boards left over and uh, yeah, they're water resistant. So that means I gotta be a little more careful. Um, I can go ahead and, and just get them wet, like normal mopping and stuff. But uh, other than that, I don't wanna oversaturate it. Some guys that go on tile wands and everything. Um, not this one. Uh, I am gonna use moisture on it. I'm gonna agitate it with my CRB. And then I'm gonna do a dry mop. And then after that, I'm just gonna put a a floor finish that's meant for laminate flooring. But um, the key is to anything is always do test areas. So I'm doing some test areas right now and uh, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference here. There's a little bit of a line difference compared to the back there. And uh, you can see that square, right? That was my test area. So that was just doing a mop with like a neutral floor cleaner. And um, I am going to go and get a little bit more aggressive with it. Uh, I'm using these blue brushes on my CRB. Blue brushes are great. I use them for pretty much everything. So um, that's one thing to take in consideration. The only time you don't use a blue brush, uh, you go with the whites and that's when you're working on roll rugs or something like that. Okay, so um, got this whole area here. So I'm gonna do another test area here with everything else and we'll see how it comes out. So if you notice, yeah, I'm spraying down some moisture. That's okay. I'm not saturating it like a flood. All right. So we're getting a little bit of foam, that's okay. So this is the laundry room area, and uh, I think it'll be fine. All right, so I just used a microfiber mop and mopped it up a little bit, looking great. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of uh, neutral floor cleaning. Uh, I'm using a special type of um, floor cleaning solution. It's, um, normally I would use Squeaky Clean. Great product, Squeaky Clean. Uh, concentrate and all that stuff. But I was all out and I got called the last minute. So I'm going back to my old do-it-yourselfer um, public type of chemical that you can buy off the shelf. And I'm just going to use the Zap uh, Hardwood and Laminate Floor Cleaner. Works really good. I don't care what some people say. I love it. So 
Uh, it's not a concentrate. It is um, one gallon of regular solution. So, but uh, that's what I've been using today, and I'll spray it down, and uh, works works really well. So let's continue on with this. All right. So one thing you'll notice, I'm working with the grain. That helps get into the floor a little bit with the grain better. Um, you don't really have to go with the grain, but it does help. So I'm mopping it out, nice and easy. It's looking great. Sometimes my work is just so satisfying. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's times when this job is a pain in the rear. And some people you have to deal with can be a pain in the rear. But, um, you know, overall days like this, you know, and I don't do a lot of laminate flooring out here because it's still a lot of tile, but there is a huge transformation that's starting to happen. A lot of people are starting to go back to laminates. Uh, they're getting more resilient. They're actually starting to look better. I don't know if you remember the good old days of Pergo and all that stuff, how those things were just like, God, they chip, they swell, no matter what. Uh, I got a little paint spot here. I'm going to have to get out, but that's okay. But... Uh, Nowadays, laminates are getting more and more uh, popular, and I'm telling you, I might be out of a job someday. <laughs> no, not really. So they each have their own purpose. Uh, tile will hold up a whole lot longer than laminate will. So I'm not too worried about it. But I do like all the options. It's very nice, you know. Uh, tile. I see a lot of tiles now. You know, little two by one planks and stuff like that that they make to look like wood and everything and and uh it's just you know it's just different so it's not the same old square tiles i gotta show you something here really cool check this out so this house is remodeled totally remodeled except for some of the doors and casings i can tell us and here's here's another good tip a good cleaner always gets behind the door. They get behind the doors. These guys are like, just leave the door open, clean along there and say, see ya. Not me, every inch counts. Customer pays for every inch. <laughs> Now we can leave. First, I got a mop. So I use this microfiber here. It's really thick. Uh, holds a lot of soil. Um, it works great. It's a Home Depot cheapy brand, and uh, but you know what works works. Got the bedrooms here. So, anyways, I hope this helps some of you guys out. Gals, too. People, do it yourselfers. Um, but for laminate flooring like this, uh, because it has the grains, you really need something like my CRB over here to get into it and dig into the grain. Just don't oversaturate it, you know? I mean, think about it. These are designed so that, uh, you know, kid comes home and from school or whatever and spills their sodas or juices or something like that. They're, they're not going to get uh, all swollen like they used to. So that's really what they mean by, you know, water resistant. Uh, they have another type of laminate flooring. 
Um, it's, it's all like plastic. It's not even like there's no wood in it at all. Plastic or wood or something like that. And that's 100% waterproof. I mean, you can put that in your showers and your bathtub areas and stuff like that in your bathroom. That's really what you should be using in those areas there. So. All right, so everything's looking really good. Got a little bit of streakiness from the mop, but I am going to, at the request of the customer, put a floor finish down here, an acrylic floor finish, I believe. And um, not urethane, you don't want to use urethanes on laminates, you know, they're only for wood. And uh, I'll get that put on there. I'm gonna give it a nice little bit of a shine to it. They want that, so I will do that. It's a pretty flat looking tile. Um, but I think it's coming out really good. Very happy. Two hours later, $400. Not bad money. So I'm just putting it down liberally. 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 You know? And I'll uh, mop it in here. So you get the idea, right? Not complicated or anything like that, just you're not going to kill the laminate getting it wet. All right. I'm going to continue and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. And we're done. So I have the uh, finish on here. It's still drying up a little bit. It looks funky. That's normal. But uh, you can see in the back corner over there how nice and shiny it's getting. It looks awesome. It's not flat looking anymore. I got all that painter's dust off the floor. And uh, yeah, the customer I think is gonna be very happy. So here's another thing we can do for you. Laminate floor cleaning and restoration. So give us a call, 941-237-0466. Thank you and have a great day.